Larry Elder. I've always doubted if, if I had this doubt that California would get to question two. To get to question two right now, you have a significant lead in the polls. My question is this. Right. Do these polls hold? And if so, why? Well, Sean, there's a reason that 45,000 people have contributed to my candidacy. We're going to have the actual fundraising numbers later on uh, put out. But 2.2 million people signed a petition to have this man recalled. We're talking about 25 percent of them, at least independents and Democrats, who just voted for him two years earlier. So it's awfully hard to characterize this as some sort of Republican takeover. And 53 percent of people say that they don't want Gavin Newsom to have a, a second term. Uh, and, it, and it's because of the crime, because of the rising homelessness, because of the outrageous way he shut down this state in the more, most draconian way than any of the other 50 states, while sitting up there at that French laundry restaurant with the very people that drafted the mandates, not wearing masks, not socially distancing, but telling everybody else to do just that. And then you have the outrageous cost of living, the average price of a home in California because of the environmental extremists that he doesn't want to stand down, costs 150 percent more than the average price of a home uh, in, in the United States. You add it all up, this guy has got to go. And as you pointed out, more people now want him to go than want him to stay, and he's very, very nervous. If Andrew Cuomo isn't, he sure is. Well, he certainly is. And I mean, I guess while putting, you know, draconian restrictions on the people of California, no in-school learning, but his kids had in-school learning in a private school, uh, or right. the pictures of his kids at a summer camp while everybody else had to mask up. They had no masks, apparently. So I think people, one too many examples of just uh, utter elitism and hypocrisy. Um, speaking of Cuomo, let me run the New York Post images. Um, I don't know, Larry. Maybe I, I, what do I know? I'm just a talk show host. <laughs> but, you know, 11 women making serious allegations against you uh, that a report from the attorney general in New York says is criminal both on the state level and on the federal level. And there he is today poolside with a young aide. And uh, they're there together. Uh, I don't think the optics are exactly ideal. No, they aren't. And the optics out here in California weren't ideal when he had, as you pointed out, uh, Gavin Newsom's his own kids in summer camp not wearing masks, while just momentarily he had suggested that everybody else uh, should be wearing masks. And you mentioned education. 75 percent of black boys in California, I'm not making this up, Sean, cannot read at state levels of proficiency. And that was pre-pandemic. And the levels of proficiency aren't very high. Nearly half of all third graders cannot. And they lost a whole year of in-school education, while, as you pointed out, his own kids were enjoying in-person private education. It is why one of the many things I'm going to do if I'm fortunate enough to be elected governor is to push for choice. The money should follow the child rather than the other way around. The polls show that black and brown parents overwhelmingly want school choice, and they keep pulling that lever for the Democratic Party that's not giving it to them. I'm going to change that narrative, and that's why I'm asking people to go to electelder.com, throw a little something in the tip jar, because he can raise an unlimited amount of money. I cannot. I need help from other people. Electelder.com, electelder.com. I really appreciate it. All right, Larry Elder, thanks for being with us. When we come back... Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.